Hello and welcome to the Yorkshire Dales. So yes, in this video we are exploring some of the many amazing waterfalls that are located all over the Yorkshire Dales. We're starting off though with a little bit of a twist because the first one is not actually a waterfall anymore, but it was. It is an extinct waterfall in fact, and that is Malham Cove. So Malham Cove is 80 meters high and this very unique cliff face was formed by a waterfall from the melting glaciers at the end of the last ice age. So it's made from limestone which is actually found all over the Yorkshire Dales. So that gives us a great view of Malham Cove from the bottom but now I say we need to get a view from the top. What do you say Ellie? I don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> so there are some crazy climbers climbing up Madame Cove right now, which seems, I don't know, just awesome. Would you want to do that, Ellie? I would, but I don't think I could. <laughs> yes. Well, especially with your fear of heights. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Almost there. Yes. So here we are at the top of Malham Cove now and what an incredible view this is. You might actually recognise this place from one of the Harry Potter films as it was filmed right here. I think it was the Deathly Hallows and in the film they decided to pitch up a tent and camp here which this seems like a horrible place to camp because of uh, these interesting rock formations on the floor. But these rock formations on the floor are again evidence left from the last ice age. The glaciers that would have been here created very small cracks in the rock which have since been eroded more and more by the rain. It is extremely unique, that's what I will say. I've never seen anywhere quite like this before. So that sums up Malham Cove right now. I'm gonna leave you with this incredible view, but we are not done in this area because this is part of a longer hike all around the area of Malham, and we are gonna carry on now and see what else we can find. So here we are now, just a short walk away from Malham Cove, and this is Janet's Foss which is a very scenic little waterfall and a really pretty area, you know? It's really impressive. We're doing this on an evening as well, so it's really nice to see. I imagine this would be a really nice place in summer to come and chill out, but as of right now, oh, it's not that cold actually. What do you think of Janet's Foster, Nelly? Yeah, I think it's very cool. I think it's a good area for an evening walk. But anyway, let's carry on to the final landmark of this hike, which is around 10 minutes away from here. And this is a big one. So this that you can see behind me is Gordale Scar, which is the ending point of our epic hike that has started this video. This is absolutely incredible. Gordale Scar was again formed by glacial meltwater, except the water cut through the rock this time, unlike Malham Cove, and it's just absolutely amazing. Ellie gives you a good scale of how massive this cliff is. never get the full extent of the scale of these things until you're actually here seeing them in person and so I don't think the video can fully capture it but this is mind-blowing and a really great end to a really great day because this is the evening right now um, so tomorrow we're gonna wake up and carry on with the video see some more amazing things so I'll see you tomorrow So here we are in Ingleton and more specifically we are at the Ingleton Waterfall Trail which is home to six waterfalls over a 4.5 mile circular walk and it is just very peaceful, serene, 
picturesque, all those words. So we're just approaching the first of the waterfalls now. Uh, so let's see. So we've just passed what is known as the money tree, which is definitely one of the most impressive money trees we've seen. In fact, I had to keep Ellie away from it because you, we all know she has an unrelenting urge no. to no. take coins from money trees. No, 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 I was just looking at it. But yes, that was very interesting. We are now just approaching Pekka Falls, which is the first waterfall we've seen. And we're starting off strong. This looks very impressive. Let's go get a closer look. Second of six waterfalls right here, this is Hollybush Spout. Uh, it's all kind of part of the same thing, it's very impressive. What's Ellie review would you say? It's very good, yes. It's a lot of waterfalls, and so that that's good. Okay, so behind me now you can see Thornton Fort, which is the biggest waterfall on this trail, and the third we have seen so far, so we've still got three left, so I'm excited. So this waterfall has a 14 meter drop and the famous English painter J.M.W. Turner painted this waterfall. Elio, like that? Your favourite painter again? Yes. Back again? Yes. You're just taking me on a tour around England, whatever he painted. Yeah, stuff. basically. <laughs> you, you know, you set it for some good places if he painted them. So yes, this is one. It's a great place if you can uh, fit a bit of rocks to climb, that's the problem. But very cool. Is that a good place? Wait, yeah. I can't see your face. Yes. I would totally recommend it. Yes? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I've never been able to get behind a waterfall before, so first for me. And it's a great one. So if you are interested in visiting this Ingleton Waterfall Trail, it does cost £8 each to go in, which I guess it's a little bit pricey, I suppose, considering that you're just out in nature, but there is a really well-maintained path um, and facilities along the way, so it kind of turns it into a really sort of family-friendly walk, I suppose. Walk. You're saying you don't like all the ups and downs? Well, I don't mind it, but we climbed the mountain yesterday. <laughs> we did. We, uh, this is currently one day after climbing Ingleborough, which is the second highest mountain in the Yorkshire Dales. If you do want to watch that video of us climbing Ingleborough, by the way, I will link it down in the description. So if you enjoy this one, and after this you want even more of this, <laughs> then go click that. They know what's up. They know when Ellie's about. Can I get one of the... Can I get a Super 5? Yeah. I got a Super 5. You had a 5 for some reason. A Super 5? A Super 5. <laughs> it has Super 5 flavours. Gorge, we can't really see it unless I sort of do that because it's very far down there. But there's really nice view and bridge here that summarizes our Ingleton waterfall trail. And so, with that, that sums up the video. I really hope you enjoyed. Right now, we are at the start of Aysgarth Falls, which is just a little bit of an honorable mention that I wanted to talk to you briefly about throughout this video because it is a very iconic waterfall. But we really enjoyed seeing all of those waterfalls. Well, I know I did. What about you, Ellie? 
You enjoyed the waterfalls? Yes. What was your favourite waterfall from the video? Um, I think I liked the one that we saw last evening. Gordale Scar? Yes. yes. That one. Yes. I would say exactly the same thing. Oh, in there fact. you go. Yes. I think that was definitely my highlight as well. It was just, as you turn the corner, it's one of those mind-blowing places. I think just didn't expect it to be as good as it was. So yes, I really hope you enjoyed looking at all of these waterfalls and exploring the Yorkshire Dales with us. Um, feel free to check out my other Yorkshire Dales videos. I will link them down in the description if you are interested. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye.